What's up? What it do? How you doing? I am back with another video. Today in E Family, I'm showing you what it takes to get ready to do this. Don't go anywhere. So before we get started, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification so that you can be notified when a new video is uploaded. Also, check out my links in my description box below for your t-shirts and coffee mugs at teespring.com. So, um, my this is my face, my plain face, before I add any makeup to it. Um, my face has already been cleaned. I use the Neutrogena cream wash and um, <clears throat> a little coconut oil for to moisturize. I think that's all. So I get started with my eyebrows first. And before you, wa while you're watching this video, if you say, well, that's not how you do it. And I've seen other people do it this way. That's okay, because the way I do my makeup and the way you do your makeup is two different ways. So just calm down and trust the process. So I start with my eyebrows. And I just take my, my spoolie like this and give them a little brush. So I don't use your traditional... Um, like dip brow or a pencil. I actually use eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. um, it's effective and it works. So I'm going to use it for my Morph palette. And I'm going to go in to this dark color right here and get started with the eyebrow. Okay, so you see how it can look a little dark and a little harsh. I don't like that look. So I take my spoolie and I go in like this and just kind of blend it out so that you don't have that harsh line. Even if you're using a dip powder or a um, eyebrow pencil, you'll want to do the same thing. So just kind of go in like this. Okay, so... See how it looks a little uneven? So, no problem. So next, I'm going into my concealer. And I use NARS concealer. You can use whatever concealer you like, but NARS is the one that I love and works best for me. So the color I'm going into um, my NARS concealer is Praline. We're going to clean up our brows a little bit because... Right now, they just look like, whoa. <laughs> so I go in with my brush. I use a flatter brush to do this. Pick up some concealer. And start fixing what we don't like. And I'm going in with the same color. Some people use a darker color on their top. I go on with the same color. It works for me. So that's what I do. And I'm going to go in on the top. And fix the top like that. Okay, so next I'm going to take, this is a, I don't know the names of all these brushes, y'all. I just have a lot of brushes and I use my favorites when I put my makeup on. So anyway, this is a flatter brush. A little dense, I love it. And I'm just gonna go in on top and blend that out. Cause you definitely wanna blend that out. So before I continue with my eyes, this is the point where I look at my eyebrows and decide if I like the way they're looking, if they need any more eyeshadow added to them in spots or if I want to buff it out a little more so I'll buff it out a little bit more in here okay so <clears throat> before we buff out this part I'm going to go ahead 
you know, set my eyes. Um, I do this before I add eyeshadow. It helps your eyeshadow to adhere um, better. Um, also, your eyeshadow won't crease. So there's two steps that I use to setting my eyes. So I'm going back into my concealer, and I'm going to get this all over our eyes like this. Okay, so we have part one of setting our eyes. <clears throat> we'll go back in with that same brush, and then we're going to blend it. We're going to buff this out. You want it to look as smooth as possible. Okay, so I got that all blended out. So next, I'm going in with my Too Faced setting powder. That's the second part of setting the eye. Um, I'm telling you, if you try this method using your eyeshadow, you'll love it. You really will. Okay, so I'm just going in with a fluffy brush. This is by, uh, this brush is by Real Techniques. I'm just going to dip it and not shake off the excess and then do like this. So next we are going to get into these eyeshadow colors. Today I'm going into my Juvia's Place palette and I'm going to start with this color right here. Trust the process. <laughs> I'm going to go in, load up my brush. And I dust the excess off. I have a towel down here, y'all. And then we go start here. Okay, so we're not just going to put it on and leave it like that. We want to buff it out. We want to make sure that we don't have any um, harsh lines showing in our eyeshadow. So... I'm just picking up another brush. This is a brush by um, It Cosmetics. And I'm just going to go in and buff a little bit. Okay, so we have that first layer put on. So next, I'm going into my other Juvia's Place palette. And I'm going to dip into this color right here. Y'all. I'm not a makeup professional, but there are just, I've, I've watched makeup tutorials and I've learned a couple things. At least I think I've learned a couple things. <laughs> so I'm going to go into this color right here. I'm going to go in right here. Like this. With that darker color. And just like we did for our other color, we're going to go in with another makeup brush. And we're going to buff this color out a little bit. We want it to blend. Okay, so I got um, the amount of eyeshadow I want on there for now. So I'm going back in to my NARS concealer, the praline, and I'm going to create what's basically a fake cut crease. It's not a real cut crease. So going in right here onto my lid, we're going to put some concealer here. And if you get up in here like that, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. Just take uh, a smaller brush like this. This is a brush also by It Cosmetics. And go into the color that you use. And fix it. That's all. Just like that. So next, I'm going to take another brush. Um... This brush right here. This is Vibro Techniques. And I'm going to blend that out a little bit. Okay, so before I continue, I'm going back into that dark color. I'm 
places like that. Right here. Okay, so next I'm going back into my Juvia's Place palette and I'm gonna dip into this color right here. And for that, I'm using a, a flat brush again. And then I'm gonna put that right here. And of course, as we've done everything else, we'll take a different brush and let's soften that out. Okay, so that's all for the eyeshadow. That's all the eyeshadow I'm gonna do. That's it, that's all. So next, I'm just gonna add a little mascara. I don't do lashes, y'all. Um, I haven't tried lashes. I'm scared. I'm actually scared of the glue because my lashes are already stingy. So all I need is to be putting glue on these things and I really don't have no lashes. So I just use um, mascara. This is uh, Bad Gal Bang. This is by Benefit. This mascara is the bomb. Dot com. So if you're like me and you don't want to wear lashes, but you want that extension, Go to the benefit counter and get this one. Bang. It is so bomb. So I'm just going to add that to my eyelashes. Okay, so remember how I told you don't worry about this because we're going to clean it off? I just have a paper towel with a little makeup cleaner on it. We're going to wipe it off. Just like that. And I'm going to flip it over because I'm going to add some eyeliner. And I want my eyeliner to go on as smooth as possible. So I'm going to get in here. Like this. Okay, so next I'm going to go on with some eyeliner. This is by It Cosmetics. I love this eyeliner. It doesn't irritate my eyes. It doesn't run. Um, I just, I really love it. So I'm going to go in with that and get that at it. Okay, so I've applied my eyeliner. So let's get into this face. So this is another NARS concealer in the color Caramel. And I go in with a bigger flat brush than I used when I set my eyes. And I'm just going like this. Pick some up on your brush. You don't have to do yours this way, but this is how I do mine and it works for me. And I'm going in on the under eye and I'm applying concealer first. To me, it holds better, it works better, but you do yours the way you like. This is what works for me. Okay, so you know how we buffed it out uh, for the eyes? We're not going to buff this out yet because we're going straight into our foundation. Yes, I am a NARS girl. So this is their 16 hour wear by NARS. This, it is, this stuff is so bomb. It's not heavy. Um, it doesn't make your face oily. I, I love all their products. I have several foundations. I have Becca, I have um, Lancome, um, It Cosmetics. But for me, NARS is it for me. I, I absolutely love. So I just put uh, drops on my brush here like this. And then let me push that back. And then I go in like that all around my face and drop foundation on my nose. Add some more. Even add it where I just added that concealer. I even add it there. And then I start blending. I don't do this. We're going to do that later, though. I'm going to show you. So I, I blend mine out like this. Make sure we get up in here where we added that concealer to make sure 
we don't have any lines okay, so next <clears throat> i'm going in with another brush um this is by real techniques and i go in and do this after i've, I've, I've applied my foundation I'm, i do this because it helps to pick up any excess foundation on your face and it helps to smooth it out. And you could do this with a, I think this was a powder brush. Um, you could do it with a powder brush and do it, but it just helps to smooth your foundation out a little bit more. Okay, so next, <clears throat> I'm going back in um, I'm going back into my original concealer, the Praline. And I'm going to take it right here. Just right here. Just to brighten up the eye a little bit. Um, on a normal day, I wouldn't do this, but because I do videos, I do this. So just right here. Okay, um, and then I'm going to go in with that same little brush that I used before <clears throat> and blend that in. Okay, so I've blended that in. So next, I want to set my under eye. So I'm going back in into my Too Faced powder. And we're going to add powder under here like this. Because I don't want anything to crease or move um, until I'm done with my makeup for the day. So we're not going to touch that right now. We're just going to let that sit. So <clears throat> I do a little contouring. I don't do a lot of contouring. I don't really feel that it's all that necessary. So that same color that we use on our eye and our under eye, I go in down the middle of my nose like this. Like that. That's that's just the light color. And then I have a darker color. This is by Black Opal. You can find it in your local grocery store, drugstore. And I take another flat brush and I go in like this with my flat brush. Or I just put that um, down the middle of my nose. I go down the sides with it like this. There are many ways to contour, but this is what works best for me. I don't take my contour all the way up my um, all the way up here because I'm fine with the length of my nose. I just want to kind of minimize the look of the width of my nose. That's on that. Okay, so then I do my cheeks because when you do your cheeks, it gives it an added um, like definition on your cheeks when you get ready to do your blush. So I just take my brush like this and do like this. There are many ways to contour. There are many products to use to contour. This is just, this is what I use and what I like. Okay, so next I have another brush by It Cosmetics. Love their brushes. They're amazing. And we're going to blend this dark out on the sides. So we're just going to do it like this. And what I like to do while I'm blending is I have a little towel right here. And I just kind of take off any excess off the brush. And next I'm going in. With a, like a, it's a flat eyeshadow brush. We're gonna blend this out, and then I'm gonna finish it with a, like a blender, beauty, a little beauty sponge. So just go in like this. Okay, so because we want everything to come together, I'm gonna take my fluffy powder brush. I'm gonna go into my Too Faced setting powder first. And we're going to set everything. 
And then the last powder I use on my face, uh, this is a powder by It Cosmetics. Love this powder. It is not heavy. It is very light. Um, and it gives you, even if you say you just wanted to run out and you didn't want to pull full face and makeup on, let me pull a face powder on. This right here is the one to put on. It's amazing. I love their products as well. I'll just load up my brush like that. Just kind of helps to even everything out. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to add is some blush. Um, this blush is by MAC Cosmetics. Love, love, love this blush. Love it. I'm just going in with my blush brush, which is also by It Cosmetics. Load up my brush. So then I take my powder brush that I use. And then I just like to go over it like this. Just to make sure we ain't looking too pinky on the cheeks. <laughs> Don't want to look like a clown. Kind of blend it out a little bit. Like that. And then the last thing I do on my face is this is by Bobbi Brown Cosmetics. It's a brick. Um, that's what it's called, a brick. And it has different colors and it's shimmery. So I take my fan brush. I'm just going to the color like this. All the colors. And because it's shimmery, you see how it's shimmery? Apply it to my cheeks like that. Or wherever I want the shimmer. I usually do it down my nose. I try not to get too carried away because you can look too shiny and that's not, that's not cute. So, down my nose like that. And on my cupid's bow. And then I just take my brush once again and blend that out so it doesn't look harsh. I want you to know that there's a shimmer there, but... I don't want you to be like, girl. <laughs> so the last thing we're going to do is do add our lips. This is a lipstick by MAC Cosmetics. I absolutely love the color. So I'm going to get that added on. So next I'm going to use a lip liner also by MAC. Um, this is, I think, Chestnut Lip Liner. So next, I'm going to go in with a gloss. This is by Buxom Cosmetics. I absolutely love their glosses. They're kind of lip plump, plumpening. Um, I love their glosses. And this is, I just, if y'all don't know by now, purple is my favorite color. It doesn't really go on purple like you think you'll see, but I'm a gloss girl. I love a gloss. Whether I'm wearing lipstick or not, I got gloss on. Uh you don't go on purple like, like you think. And that's it, y'all. That completes my look. <clears throat> um, the only advice I really have for you is um, trust the process. You do your makeup the way you like. There are many YouTube videos. Uh, there are makeup artists on Facebook that do live tutorials all the time. Watch them. That's what I do. Um, like I said, I am no professional. But I'm learning just like you are. So, there you have it. What's up? What it do? How you doing? I am back with another video. Today, E&E &E family, I'm showing you what it takes 